I'm with my old friend David Enfancy, who runs IDOS Montreal, who we all know and love from the Deus Ex games. But now you're doing something new. Tomb Raider is at the studio. How did that happen? How did you guys get the responsibility to make Tomb Raider from Crystal Dynamics? Actually, we worked on the two previous games, so we learned a lot to these uh, two developments, of yep, course. Yep. Uh, after the timing has been right uh, for us to lead this one, so very uh, honored to be that. For those that don't know anything about Shadow of the Tomb Raider, can you kind of encapsulate what's happening in this game? Yeah. Yeah. I won't reveal too much. Yeah. You understand that, yeah, you know, you have to experience uh, it by yourself. But yeah. uh, uh, that's the third game of the trilogy. This one, she's totally in control. Totally in control. But the, the, um, she's, it's all about at the beginning of the game, I won't reveal the end, but about to revenge her um, uh, father dead. You know, uh, she is pursuing uh, Trinity, and uh, and uh, you will live this experience of revenge, and how Lara will become the Tomb Raider she meant to be. I played the game, and it's lovely. What have you guys learned as a team and as a studio for telling? you know, compelling stories and getting us sort of wrapped in the fiction of these game worlds that you create. Uh, yeah, but of course not new to us, you know, we uh, the narrative driven experience from Deus Ex, Chief also, so we applied a lot of these learnings mm -hmm. uh, to this game, of course. Uh, through the two previous developments, we learned a lot of how to be respectful to this Tomb Raider franchise. It's yeah. very important too, but bringing some uh, freshness to, um, to this uh, last game of the trilogy uh, because it was important to not do a sequel of sequel you know yeah <laughs> as a gamer i don't want to play that kind of yes. game you know yes. so uh, we wanted to bring something very specific to uh, Eidos montreal so a uh, story uh, the the show don't tell the visual direction everything is uh, totally uh, new we're seeing with games like the ones you've mentioned, with Tomb Raider games and with Deus Ex, but also with titles like The Last of Us and God of War, we're feeling the emotional impact of these characters and they're making us, even if it's a hack and slash experience, you're attached and you care about them. And, and I guess that's what this technology enhancement allows as well, right? You get even closer yeah. to your characters. It first, uh, yeah, you're right, but it starts with the, the writing mm. in the sense that this trilogy has been taught uh, with Lara as the key point, the central point of the experience. So yeah. knowing that, you know, you, yeah, of course you have a strong mechanics, you have a high fidelity uh, rendering and everything, but the emotion is key. And uh, how you deal with that is a part of writing, it's a part of animation, of course, it's about the rendering of Lara, but um, uh, what she faced also uh, through the experience you know experiencing uh, things is one one aspect of the emotion but having somebody giving you some feedback about it yeah. it's next level in terms of writing experience and and shadow is a perfect example of that well you also get it from the uh, the claustrophobic moments in the game as well when like the water is all around you and the rocks are falling on you and it looks like you may drown and that all has to be perfectly captured and illustrated as well right yeah, the animation on the water is a key challenge, something new to us, so we pushed a lot and learned a lot about that. Yeah. Um, a fear, actually, the fear is um, a creative direction for the entire game. Yeah. So ex you experience it through uh, the underwater exploration, but you, you will feel it through the jungle, you will feel it through all aspects of the game. But the underwater experience, it's something usual for a Tomb Raider. Yeah franchise but we pushed a lot on that and and you're right the synergies and everything is scary now we were running I think on Xbox one X yeah hardware can you tell me a little bit about some of these embellishments and some of these enhancements that we're going to see on 4k ready machines yeah no definitely um, we um, we develop a new uh, lighting system for example mm -hmm. a rendering system for characters um, to be uh, to be um, totally to exploit the, max, the maximum, the potential of this Xbox One X, so it's definitely an amazing experience, 4K, 60 FPS. Cannot reveal too much, but at some point you will have a, a scene with 155 NPCs on screen at the same time, 4K, 60 FPS. Awesome. And we had to push a lot of things on um, uh, through the engine and the new systems we break worked uh, in uh, this, um, this game. We speak about the Xbox One X, but Playing the game on Xbox One S, we pushed the envelope also. Nice. So uh, for me, that will be the most beautiful game on Xbox One S 
ever right. done. Right, right, right. I commit now. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you're not forgetting no, the the, not the people that have the PS4s and the All and the platform, regular PS4 Pro, yes. uh, PS4 and the PC. So it's, you're optimizing oh, yeah. everywhere. And Will the you? Switch version is going to be rad too. We're going to do 4K <laughs> 60 frames. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm um, 150 uh, NPCs on screen, 4K, 60 FPS. Mm, I'm not sure about that. So, the death of single-player games is total bullshit. Is that <laughs> totally. what it is, right? Totally. You yeah. know, um, when we started Deus Ex, for example, in 2007, you know, we had uh, our publisher saying, you should do multiplayer, you should do multiplayer, and yeah. we were, no, it's Deus Ex experience. It's action RPG, it's story driven and everything, and we have to be true to that. We don't need a multiplayer experience to sell more copies. Yes. And we, we, we've been true to that. And it's the same thing for Shadow. Yeah. We, we stick to the single player experience, we totally believe in it, it's not death, and uh, God of War is a good example of it yeah. uh, also. So we should not uh, follow the trend. Yeah. And, and stay true to what we like to do and what we like to play. Right, right. Does not be, it does not mean that I don't believe in multiplayer experience, but for me it's two different audiences. My uh, viewers would be pissed at me if I didn't ask you about Deus Ex. Or what, what's, mm -hmm. When are you guys going to announce something about more Deus Ex? Um, so Deus Ex is here. I want to reassure you yeah. that we did not forget Deus Ex. We built the studio with uh, this franchise. We gave uh, blood, sweat, everything to reboot this franchise and be true to it. So it's not dead. Awesome. It's not dead. We, it's here and we just need to think about the future of it and make it correctly and respectfully. All right. So stay tuned, dot, dot, yeah, dot. Yeah, no, definitely. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Thank man. Thank you very much.